been a while since we've done one of these, hasn't it, mate? Yeah, how long? Four months? No. <laughs> It'll probably something like that, actually. I know, it is. It is long. <sighs> yeah. So we're going to get started on the Mansion Incident, Resident Evil 1. Starting with Mansion Incident, Episode 1. Oh. It's you and your mum! Are you being? Ignore the fact that you're you're two years older than her. <laughs> I was mad, Chris, then. Yeah, mate. As that is me. That is the only way it can be. Sick. I is I is the main woman. You is Jill the main, Byrne. I is the main geese. Uh hmm. So what point what weapon do you want then? Uh Oh. The rocket launcher mate. We can sit, mate. Then I will go with the Grenade launcher. Bloop. Ooh. Is that up? Yeah, yeah. about one. Yep, yeah. boom. Sick. Let's start, mate. Wicked, wicked. Chase is massive. <laughs> oh, my chases. That was a thing for us back in the day. The mansion. Incident. The mansion. Crowds. And that's so, so uh, it's like all these cutscenes are mostly done with the, uh, the, the, the pre rendered cutscenes from the, the remake. Which was like well, like the best remake Battle. game ever. The, the Wesker like West saves Jill, and then Chris is like, "Come on, Jill, run! Come on, mum!" And Wesker's like, "Let's and run!" Now, the only the, the, the only thing about Umbrella Chronicles is always that this this scene has like Chris, Jill, Wesker, and the man himself, Big Baz, the man, the yeah. legend. Yeah. <laughs> and, and and Wesker's like Chris and a few others, including myself. But Barry's not in this. Mm. So one can only conclude that... I don't even mention him. So one can only conclude that Barry either doesn't exist in this universe or he's just stayed behind in his Sazard and killing everything. It's Probably Sazard. My dad is Sazard. Right. So, Big Baz. So they've heard some, some noises. So they hear some noises and decide, okay, let's, let's go uh, investigate, mate. This is basically how Resident Evil 1 starts. Then Chris is like, OMG, the dining room. I have a mistake on there, lads. <laughs> it's just a massive dining room. And, like, they hear, they hear the noise, but basically it's a zombie. Spoiler alert, it's a zombie. Because like, you couldn't figure it out on your own. Mm. And it's like, how did they hear, the, hear such a noise from over there? <laughs> it's funny the uh, the book based on, on the game, because uh, Chris goes to investigate first. He comes here, and he doesn't find the zombie here. He finds a door. He, go, uh, he goes through the door, and then it closes and locks behind him. This looks smaller than this one. Or is it just me? It nah, it, it's just the way it was originally. Oh, it was only right. for uh, five when they made them like super, super bulky. Because no. they they, I think it's because they wanted to um, like make him. Um, What's going on? I think, I think, just, I think what they wanted to do with Chris was uh, make him like different from Leon. Because Leon was like like super agile. Where'd he come from? They're in here too. We need to get out of here. And Jill, Big Jill is played by a Power Ranger in this game. Oh, sick. Bloody Pink Ranger from In Space. And Tailbow. Tailbow. I don't let me reload. Play fully loaded. What's off Sammy? I can't. I can't take him out. No, don't hurt me, Mr. Zombie Zombie. Something some I like about Resident Evil, though, is the fact that it's, it's something based around. Cause like everything else is about zombies, like so zombies are this big thing now, and yet everything else seems to be embarrassed about using the word zombie. You know what I mean? Mm. They're all walkers or infected, and this is just straight up say zombies, living death, zombies. Slice. Oh, OMG, West has gone missing. What happened? West man, what are you doing? Get out of my face. He just, he just buggered off somewhere. He's like, my name's Wesker. I don't need this shit. Check this out. Boom. Has Wesker nope. gone outside? It's the, locked. It's we locked. Have to find another way. We have to find another way. It's not actually locked in the game, because in the actual game when you open it. Oh, look at Jill. Nice one, Jill. Boom. Taser no. mate. Your mum is well hard. She's so hard. Quick. No! no, no they no. bit you. Chris just, Chris just fucking pulls out a knife. Sick. So, see, the, the thing, the thing about the um about Chris and Jill's attacks here is that it's because no they were special items. Like you couldn't just shake a zombie off in the remake. You had to use special items for it. So either of them could find um, these little daggers to stick in them. 
Chris found flash grenades, which he sticks in the mouth and it explodes and blows her head off. <laughs> and uh, Jill gets a taser. Oh. Haha, <laughs> no, mate. Yeah, mate, shot. Oh, get the grenade launcher. Oh. There's so many of them. Why not? Yeah, I think I got it. Oh, yeah. you got it. You got it. Did I? So. Yeah. I'm not sure how you cycle through weapons. I think you use, like, C. That one. Uh. Oh, okay. Yeah, mate. You, you is buzzing. Oh, more files behind pictures. Oh, yeah, sick. Bloody hell. Don't want to waste a rocket launcher, though. That's true. Should I change back? Yeah. There we go. I think you can use a D-pad to up, up and down as well. Check it out. Floating herb. <gasps> OMG, get ready to press buttons or whatever. Oh, no! Luckily, it's just one of the ones that damages you. Yeah, it one that killed you. Yeah. that time. Yeah. The last game, oh my Christ. Your Christ. Oh my Christ. Christ, like. Is he like related to Jesus Christ? He's Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not funny. <laughs> Let's bust this door open. Got my face. Let's bust this guy open. Chris, I can feel something's close. <laughs> shoot the door, shoot the random. door. Oh shit, I think we missed a prompt. Oh, damn it. What the hell was that? It was, it was just the bathroom. Yeah. I was expecting something to be in it on my crash. Yeah, you, uh, well, if you press the button, you, you go into it. It happens sometimes. Oh. And yeah, you have, to, you have to do stuff like that, I think, to get like the uh, the best magnum in the game, the hand cannon. Which is a secret item, Chris. Yeah, one, 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 of the, one of the things, it's, it's, probably, it's not one of the better games we could be, me and you could be playing together. Mm. Not not because of Chris and Jill. <laughs> and uh, no, the absence of Barry is, is a shame. But um, also the fact that this game, um, because it's just basically a bunch of different scenarios, all different stories, it doesn't really matter too much if we come back to it a few months later because, well, it's not one ongoing story. We already cleared Resident Evil Zero, didn't we? Yeah. Even though we is that sick. Even the Wesker bit. Well, unfortunately, I had to dom alone. Oh yeah. That's but, unfortunate. But now we is dom back again together, the mate. Bros are back. Yeah, mate. Or rather, you and your mum buzzing. Oh look at that! I'm not doing too bad. Nope. And you was keeping up. This and, time. And you was just standing there like, yeah, mate. I just got my hand. On the belt. It's a nice pose, that, isn't it? Yeah. And your mum's just, your mum's like, what the fuck's going on here? She looks bored, don't she? A bit, yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's funny because they've had, since last time you, uh, you came here, they actually re uh, announced another Resident Evil game. Oh, nice. But, well, aside from the fact they're bringing out the um, the the, the re-releasing the Resident Evil One remake in HD with the newer costumes for Chris and Jill, so you can be Big Gripper Chris. Oh yes. And Jill with an awesome ponytail and a hat. You know, like a cap instead of a beret. Uh, aside from that, they announced like Resident Evil Revelations 2, where you play as uh, Chris's sister and um, and uh, Barry's daughter. But My dad has a daughter now. But unlike in the real world, Chris, Chris's sister and Barry's daughter are not one and the same. <laughs> so basically, like, basically, oh shit. What the hell? What the fuck? It's a crimson head. Oh shit. Yeah, basically the way it worked was in the, uh, the Resident Evil 1 remake when you kill a zombie, it, its body doesn't disappear, it actually stays there, uh, and about an hour of gameplay later it gets back up as a Crimson Head, and it's faster, stronger, and more powerful, and well, right. stronger and more powerful the same thing, but yeah, it just gets back up, it's like, yeah mate, I is a Crimson Head, I is going to deck you, but then you kill it then, it stays dead forever. Kind of ironic, isn't it? It's so much more powerful, more of a threat, but you can actually kill it, unlike its normal self. I don't think this is just someone's summer home. This is the area where all of those murders happen. But yeah, so, so that, that's quite. Uh, so it was a really cool stranger, thing. And in this, they're just normal enemies. But yeah, so. Um, it's gonna get up in here. Yeah. I'm gonna open the door. Let's go in this one. This is one of the big puzzle rooms in the original. Oh shit. Oh shit, oh, dogs. Damn. Yeah, mate. So, yeah, in the original game, you come in here, and I have to do a puzzle with the suits of armor. Come and get me, bitches! Why's he hiding? Come and face it. He can't, he can't take the press. He's scared of us. 
Who wouldn't be? You see exactly. another Domin. Well, is it, well, well, that's the thing. Is, is it? Is it that you're scared of of me and you? Are you and Big Jill? You're both. Both, mate. Who wouldn't be scared of us? You is the chosen one. Your mum is the mum of the chosen one. <laughs> and I is like, mate. You're oh shit! Mert. Another one. Another quick time event. Oh, At least the only time they have two one level. Get ready. Oh damn it! That's probably my fault. I'm shaking it, but. Haha! -ha, shot him with a shot here. Take that, you fiend! Oh shit. Slip that down, slip that down, slip that down. Yes, Jog on, boy. boy. Oh shit. Two, two zombies that look exactly the same. Where's the thingy gun? Hello. Uh, a bit delayed and it won't let me shoot. That's <laughs> fine though, you, because you, was, you, you got back in the game, you was wicked. Uh, but yeah, so this. Uh, Swing your knife! That's the easiest way to do it, isn't it? Uh, hold A and, sw and swing. Ah, that's why I want to Oh shit! Crimson heads. I think, I think they, are, they show up even if you've already headshotted them. I, I think the crimson heads were the part in, in the uh, the remake partly to make Chris more useful. Because like Jill's special item is a lockpick, so she can just uh, unlock certain doors. But Chris has a lighter to... Um... I think you got a headshot then. Good job. Nice. So, so Chris has a lighter, which, which he just used to turn on a so like light a candle, not turn on a candle, just light a candle one time. Also, uh, you probably didn't, didn't notice what the story is here, so I'll just briefly explain. Basically, for, you know when, uh, when Re uh, Rebecca was like buzzing, mm -hmm. yeah, her, her her team's gone miss, her team went missing. So uh, and they were Bravo team. So this is Alpha team going going to find them, but they got attacked by zombie dogs in the woods. All right, and uh, one guy got killed. Uh, the pilot took off because he's a cowardly shit. <laughs> um, Chris, Jill, Baz, and, and uh, Wesker are the only ones who get to the mansion. Oh no, Forrest! He was one of our mates from Bravo. Not anymore. Nah. Jesus, it takes a lot of shots, doesn't he? Yeah, he's a special zombie. Even, even a, a mode in the one, one version of Resident Evil 1 where he's chasing you around the whole mansion, the whole game. And if you, if you uh, shoot him once, he explodes sorry. and you die. I'll miss our I'm sorry, Forrest. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to kill you. So yeah, mate, the... Uh, Revelations 2, though, apparently, there's uh, the, the leaked achievement list. Or something like that. It might have been a. Yeah, I think it was like you know the, the game's rating system. Mm. It apparently hints at a third playable character, and it's apparently a spoiler. So it'd be awesome if it was Big Bass just, bur just bursting in through it at, at one point, just randomly, just, just kicks the door in and goes, "I have this." It's that shooting motherfucker with his gun. <laughs> his gun that's as powerful as a rocket launcher in canon. This is actually a thing. I was trying to pick it up. Let me. Yeah, mate. You press either A or Z. Oh, Vida Zane, motherfucker. Dark in here. Oh, yeah, because I'm shooting all the lights. <laughs> Your speciality, that. Yeah. Shooting the lights. I just shoot everything. Makes it more scary, doesn't it? Yeah. I think. Oh. Ah, not bad. And you can just piss off. Come on. Yeah, you didn't like it, did you? Scumbag. I think I've got a grenade launcher. I might as well use it. And just like, how did this happen? Oh, yeah, shit, I forgot. I've got a rocket launcher now, lads. Don't use it. We've got a boss fight coming up. I forgot oh, about that. Oh, okay. yeah. Oh, shit. Shit. Oh, shit. Shit. Sh Nikes. Yeah, he's dead. We just domin. We just decking everyone who comes out. They're, they're all like, eyes, com eyes coming at you. And I was like, no, mate. We just like, we're not even bothered. Look at this strange thing. A fat bloke. Mm. This is the way he was walking. Well, he's a zombie. Oh, come on, shot him in the face then. It's like, no, don't count as a headshot. And that one too. The game's very particular. that one. The game's very particular about how headshots work. Why'd you fire a rocket? What are you doing? That's it. 
Yeah. I didn't even mean to. <laughs> you wasted a rocket. What's happening? OMG, I'm scared now. Oh no, someone's in trouble. What was that? Let's check it out. What was that? It was someone saying no. <laughs> Clearly. Subtitles even said so. Oh. We're in the library. Sick. This is where things go mental. Who's in danger? What's going on? What oh, oh, is this it? Yeah, you, you, you press the button and skip the cutscene. Did I? Yeah. Oh, no way. Sorry. Because this is this, like, this, uh, this tense scene of the uh, the snake com coming down behind Jill, trying to trying to, trying to attack her. And then she, then she turns around and, and like dodges. I was, I was actually itching my arm. Sorry about that. I fucking will be, mate. When I destroy you. At table tennis. You have to get him, get him in the mouth. Oh. That's how most bosses in Resident Evil go. If, if it's not like the heart or spine or something, shoot him in the mouth. Shoot them in the mouth. That's how sex works, isn't it? Do you have to shoot them in the mouth every time? Uh, yeah. Okay. Come on, mate. Open your fucking... Yeah, mate. Yeah, so like... Damn. In, in the original game, you have to fight this thing twice. Once here, then it buggers off. And then, you have, then you go into the attic and fight it there. And like, and uh... There's actually this what? There's actually this character who, who uh, in the Resident Evil One remake. If you manage to save his life, uh, he, he like he he, uh, he he pushes Jill out of the way and gets eaten by the snake. Whereas if you're playing as Chris, he pushes him out of the way of like a shark. Proper concentration mode here. Oh, Jill, the Jill. let's climb the ladder. Yeah, I picked up an herb without even looking at it. Is that w wicked sick? <laughs> oh. Hey, Nobed, come and get me. What is he doing? Oh, there you go. Trying to figure out where we are. The Have some of that. Way, Nobed. Now's our chance. Oh no, he's coming, he's coming to get us. Yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah I'm, sure, I'm sure you would have stand that, that close to the bloody snake and let it get you. He's almost dead. We must jump down together because that's how that works. All right. He's almost destroyed. Oh, yeah, yeah cuz that that's realistic, isn't it? Shoot it and he just completely changes course mid uh buzzing. Haha, mm -hmm. uh -huh, mate. Dead. The snake's like OMG, it's all dark now. Then the next cutscene is going to be just oh. fine. It's like what's it? What's it? things what we could put the beans in. OMG. See? It's big Bex. <laughs> She, she made it with Richard. Don't worry, Richard's never going to appear again. Everything's okay now, Richard. You're never going to appear again. Okay. Okay. Jill? She never looks like tired, bored, or shocked. Yeah. You know what's funny in that Resident Evil Revelations where Jill's just like profile, mate? She's just. She's just, uh, she makes the most hilariously moronic observations. It's great. So basically, uh, for clearing that, we've unlocked two new stages. We have, continuing this story, or the prequel about Rebecca, part one. For now, we're going to continue this and then come back to that later. Sit. Good plan. Aight, mate. We're going to do that next time. Mert. Yep. Blurb.